Hi everyone, my name is Abby and I'm a software developer from the Amazon Open Search Dashboard team. Today I'll be showing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make contribution to an open source project. So currently I'm on the Open Search Dashboard repository, which is an open source project. And the first thing I want to do is to go to the issues tab and look through all those open issues to see which ones that I'm interested in picking up. Um, these issues are also with different labels and the issues with the good first issue label are probably a good place for you to start. And here, let me get those. And you can click into this issue to go over the description or any comments. And once you decided to contribute, you can assign this issue to yourself. And then to actually start contributing, you will need to set up your own development environment. The steps will be different depending on which type of laptop that you have or which uh, repository that you decide to contribute to. And I'm currently developing on an EC2 instance and I'm using Visual Studio Code. And other than that, you will also need to create your own fork of the repository. So to create your own fork, you can do that by clicking this button and click create fork. Um, once you created your own fork, your own version of the repository should show up under here. Since I already created one before, you can see this is my own fork of the open search dashboard repository. You can see it here. And um, since now this is a fork repo of the original repo, and you should be able to clone this code. So here, you can clone this code by using the command git clone and paste the link here. And since I already created one before, so I'm not going to execute this command, but here is the code from the open search dashboard fork repo. And other than cloning, you will also need to set up your remote to track the original open search dashboard repo. And you can do that by using the command git remote add, and I will call it a string. And now you need the link of the original repo, which you can get it here. And since I already added my remote before, it will show this remote upstream already exists. But if you want to check if your remote is being added successfully, you can use this command. And now you can see, you should be able to see the origin is my own fork repo and the upstream is the original open search dashboard repo. Now, So now when you start to make contribution, you should always first go to your fork repo and sync your fork with the original repo. And you can do that by using this sync fork option. And once you sync your fork to fetch any new commits that were merged to the original repo, and you can see this message, this branch is not behind the upstream. And now you can also come here and do a git fork to fetch any new updates here and if there are no uh, if there are no new updates it will show already up to date message and now you should be safe to create a new branch out of the main branch and you can do that by using this checkout and be sure to give a meaningful name to your branch um since i want to solve this issue I'll probably call something like a dev tool also auto complete. Uh, 
now I'm on my new branch and I'm free to make my own change. Um, here I'll just change something like take the file. And once we are satisfied with our change, um, we can first stage the change by using Git add. So we can see this change has been staged. And once they're staged, we can make a comment by using Git comment. Here we can give the comment a title. And some comment messages. And now we've successfully make our commit. And if we are ready to um, push the commit to our fork repo, we can do that by using git push. Oh yeah, first we need to set an upstream to our origin. And now we can do git push. So once we push the commit to our fork repo, we can come to our fork repo and it should show um, this branch has a recent push. And now if we are ready to make a PR, we can click this compare and pull request. So now we can see we're pushing the change from the dev to console auto commit branch from our own fork to the main branch of the original fork. And here you can change the PR title and you can also add some descriptions to describe the change that are being made in this PR and the issue that are solved. 